is your trombone slide doing a lot of this, even after it's been greased up? Then it might be time to give your trombone a bath. For this bath, you will also need a snake brush, a mouthpiece brush, a basic cleaning cloth, slide cream, I prefer to use Yamaha slide cream, and potentially a little spray bottle with some water in it. Now that you've got all your cleaning supplies, it's time to sort your trombone into all of its separate parts. These include the mouthpiece, depending on what kind of trombone you have, one or more lead pipes. Keep in mind that they may not be detachable at all on your trombone. The inner slide. The outer slide. The tuning slide. And finally, the bell section. What we can do before heading over to the bath is give our inner slide a preliminary wipe down with the cloth. This will remove any current slide cream and loose gunk on it and will prepare it better for the bath. Now with your trombone fully disassembled, it's time to head on over to the bath. Now we need to fill the bathtub with a few inches of lukewarm water. You don't want hot water, that'll take the lacquer off your instrument. need enough water to completely submerge the bell. We'll flip it over and give each side a little bit of water. The bell is usually the cleanest part anyways. Now take an old towel and spread it across the bottom of the bathtub. This will prevent any of the parts from being dented. The towel will like to float so be wary of that. After you've put all the parts in the bath, Make sure to be very careful not to dent them against each other, by the way. And all the bubbles have stopped. You can now proceed to put some dish soap, I prefer Ajax, into the bath around the areas that need cleaning the most. You don't want to go too overkill, especially on the bell, but you should put a good amount just to be sure. So, now we allow it to sit there for about half an hour. Now that approximately half an hour has elapsed, we can proceed to clean these parts out with our brushes. We can take our mouthpiece brush first. Just take the mouthpiece and give it a little bit of a clean. Just scrub the brush throughout the mouthpiece. No need for anything vigorous, just a bit of a scrub. And then back into the tub it goes. Now, um, what we're going to do now is take each of our slides individually. I'll start the sake of this video with the uh, outer slide. Empty out a little bit of the water and then just thread the snake brush through it. This is sort of the grossest part, I guess, of cleaning your trombone. As gross as things really get with this instrument. But once you meet any resistance, it's where the water key is, stop and pull it back out. You don't wanna get the brush stuck in there. That will lead to many problems. Now, I think the inner slide is actually going to be a little more gross than the outer slide but make sure you get the outer slide as well. Just for time's sake, after I'm done with this tube, I'll end the cut here. You can see that not a lot of gunk came out. That could be a different story with your inner slide. But once you're done threading the snake brush through basically everywhere where it can fit, uh, with the exception of down the bell end, that doesn't really make much sense, then you can let the parts soak for 20, 30 more minutes. So after letting the parts air dry briefly, you don't want to uh, scuff the finish, so don't forcefully dry it with any cloths. Uh, you're going to want to grease the slide up again. 
So take your slide cream, slide oil, whatever you use. Uh, again, I prefer Yamaha slide cream. And then take, take just a, a little bit and put it on each sort of sleeve at the end of the slide, each little stocking. And then just a little bit up closer to where about second position would be. Now you want to smear this across the uh, entire circumference of the slide so we don't neglect any part of it. And after that, what we can do is just put the outer slide onto it and give it a bit of a test run. You know, work the grease in a little bit. And after that, it should be working pretty fluidly. Uh, you don't want to wipe a little bit of the excess off of the slides, particularly up top, if you put too much on there like I did. And then work it in a little bit more. Now you should have a pretty nice slide that falls out at roughly a 10 degree angle. As you can see, it's pretty good. So then you can put the lead pipe back in. I use the shorter lead pipe, though I have used the longer one before. Uh, treat your tuning slide to just a little tad bit of slide cream. You don't want to put too much on it. In fact, I don't have any on me at the moment, but if you do, it could be better to use something thicker like slide grease like you'd use on a trumpet slide but the slide cream will work fine so then you want to oh, it looks like I still had some water in there you're going to want to rotate it around in there to distribute the cream evenly and as usual with uh, any sort of oil or cream you put on your brass instruments, you want to wipe off any excess so it doesn't build up and cause further issues. And then uh, just put the slide back in carefully. It might, uh, it might do that at first. Uh, my tuning slide seems to be in pretty poor condition despite the young age of the trombone, but give it a little bit of a run, make sure it at least works, um, and you know, there you go, that is a fully greased tuning slide. After that, you can just put your trombone back together, all of the last pieces, and you have a clean instrument. As far as future maintenance with your trombone goes, once a week, grease the slide. Once a month, wipe down the slides for any gunk and clean out your lead pipe. And then only once or twice a year should you really be giving this thing a bath, but that one or two times a year can be crucial for elongating the lifespan of your little baby as much as possible. So that'll be all for today. Hope you enjoyed.